so I got this game recommended to me by a friend. I don't really know what to expect of what, other than it was made during a game jam. Basically, somebody made a game in a hurry. So, my intention now is to basically just play this game called One Night Stand and see what happens. Judging from the first screen, I would say it might actually be after the One Night Stand, but that's just a pure guess. Yeah, a person reacting like this is not really the person going into one, but hell, I don't know, I've never been drunk, so... I think it's the morning after. I wonder what we're gonna wake up to. Oh, great. He doesn't even remember. Or is it she? We actually... Yeah, this could be interesting. Yeah, lots of ring. That's not healthy. I'm guessing that's the phone, but we could just... Nope, that's not your phone. That's not the phone either. Ah, uh, let's stop flipping around. I don't know any Gary. Did I meet new people? Yeah, apparently we are very mad at someone for waking us up. And reminding us that our battery is very, very low. That's an iPhone for you. I don't think it is. Yep. Well, what did you expect? We're in bed. Of course we're completely naked. Well, we're not alone in being completely naked, at least. That's something. Lucky or skillful? I would prefer the latter, actually. Lucky implies that it's not actually something you have to work for. Yeah, I hope that as well, because if it's not, I would be very, very perturbed. Ah, great. Mm -hmm. This starts off really well. And apparently I abandoned my new friend first thing I did. Yeah, in your balls. Oh, God. You had to brag about it, did you? Yeah, if you're 12. Well, you better remember soon. She might actually wake up and expect us to remember. No, hangovers are usually not the helping mm -hmm. kind. Of course it doesn't believe me. It's a crap. It's not something the average person of drinking age brags about. At least not if you're at least anywhere near sensible. No! We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Seriously. Get out of there. That's kind of rude. I can understand why someone would do that. Ah, uh, she's sleeping, so let's just go back to sleep. We're hungover, so... Oh, great. We're getting smothered. She's a serial killer, and we're doomed. 
Or she just went for it. Yeah, I don't know if she remembers either, and if that's the case, she just woke up with a strange, well, person. Well, she might, but if so, I actually expect her to tell us. Yeah, we want to actually call her by her name. Okay, her name is Robin. Sounds good. 22, that's not illegal. Well, she's definitely younger than I expected. Oh god. Yeah, very sloppy. I don't think we've actually dressed yet, so she's way ahead of us in that terms. Yeah, we might want to ask her if she, how she's holding up. I mean, she could have a hangover, she could be freaked out by having this strange weird person who's talking to this other weird person. Yeah. We might want to check on her. Not really, no. Yeah, I can kind of guess why. No, I don't need any details. Mwah. Happens. Are we really bringing that up? Seriously? Yeah, I can probably agree with that. I have no clue who they are. Well, that's a sensible attitude. Yeah, we're... Hmm... Asking about a hangover is pretty much the sensible thing to do since she's... Yeah, we wanna keep checking up on her. Yeah, that explains why she dashed out. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be completely honest with her and just make sure she knows how horrible we are. Yeah, apparently we ditch this unknown Gary very soon. Yeah, coffee would most likely be a good thing. Coffee is for emergencies. So, at least she's a gracious host. She can get us some coffee. And yeah, she seems nice. Oh, come on. Do we really need to guess what the hell happened? Actually, I think we... No, I'm not sure I want to find out either. Yeah, you may be drunk, but at least you weren't that stupid. Yeah, if you go with those kind of puns, I'm not sure I want to control you anymore. That's the genes, so... Yeah. We still haven't actually put any pants on. I just want to point that out. We're talking to her and we have no pants on. Ooh, coffee. Sweet. 
Well, Starbucks coffee is not all that great, so. Yep. Yeah, but not enough cloves. So, please. Yeah, of course it feels awkward, but I'm not really sure we should push the issue, you know? Hmm. Well, at least we did something right then. Not really sure, but we can check out. Ouch. I've been to some terrible dates, but none of them has actually bailed on me during it. They usually disappear afterwards. Yeah, I would concur with that. Breaking off a date, you could do that, but seriously, bailing in the middle? Uh, listen here, we can't assume anything at this point. You're hungover. Sensible thing to do. Well, I'm glad she feels that way, but I still want my pants. Yeah. But I'm still not, not sure who the fuck this Gary is. Does this character just go into a bar, get to know people, and then abandons them for other random girls? If so, he, he's a lot more social about... A lot more social than I am. Well, I'm not. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Why would I? Seriously, if I'm sitting down talking to you, then I want to talk to you, not your friends. Let me guess, she didn't find us in a bar. No, I don't remember anything what happened last night, mostly because I wasn't there. I'm just jumping in on this guy's hangover. Yeah, I think we're like keep being honest with her. That's most likely the sensible thing to be. <laughs> you don't say. Thank you. At Paradox? Paradox Interactive? Let me guess, she played Hearts of Iron, didn't she? No, I'm usually not drunk, so... Alright. I would wager so. Still no clue how the fuck I came to drink alcohol, but... You guess? Look, it's pretty safe to assume we ended up here. Nah, we're not gonna ask for details afterwards, because... I'm not really sure I want to know the answer. You don't never know what she could be into. Yeah, hopefully we, we are going to fill in more blanks once we're actually... Oh god. This, this is gonna be awkward, ain't it? Ah, oh, great. She's colored by society's perceptions on how a woman should act. I'm not really... I can't really blame her for that, but... It's not something... 
Uh, no, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to judge. Well, we haven't either. Good. That is kind of the point of me talking to you. Yes. No, that would be a very rude thing to do. I hope so. Otherwise I would question your judgment bringing me here. Well... That depends. You brought me coffee. Otherwise I would have to pick up coffee on my way out and that would be... Very, very... Yeah. Yes, I'm still here. Thanks for noticing. Well, good. Otherwise, I'll just run. Yes, we have, thanks to my wonderful guidance. No help, no thanks to you. And you might think I'm a bit snarky about this entire thing, but I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I'm not snarky towards her. She's just woken up and found a weird man in her bed, and this man obviously needs some kind of player interaction in order to help him make decisions. I wonder if that's how they met up. Or there, is there some kind of prequel game that's called uh, Emergency Date at the Bar, where you help this guy get laid in the first place? As one does. Uh, I'm terrible at talking about myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine. I imagine so. It doesn't have to be weird at all, despite just being two strangers hooking up. <sighs> yeah, this is the standard trap. If you talk about your hobbies, then you come across as self-centered. If you talk about your friends, then you're just trying to impress her with how social you are. But if you talk about your personality, then you're just egomaniac. So let's go with the egomaniac choice. Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, I don't think that was a coincidence. Uh, I think we're actually gonna try and find our pants first. No, pants. Alright, so she's an, Eng she's an English student. But let's try and find... Yeah, those are all close. Oh god, she's back. I never get the chance to find my pants. I wonder if I'm gonna have to leave without them. Most likely too much drink. Yeah, we might... We should ask that question. It's the courteous thing to do. Yeah, I think we can oblige her with that.
Well, thank you. You've been pretty nice yourself, helping me with my memory issues, and... Alright, we can oblige her with that. Yeah, I hope we actually found our pants. Uh, apparently we didn't find our underwear? Oh god. Yeah, we, let's just hope it's not too big of a ride, but... We don't have our phone, we don't have any music, we don't have any audiobooks. God, I'm gonna be bored to death on that bus ride. Well, I'm grateful that you appreciated it. Obviously... There is a connection here, it doesn't need to be sexual. I mean, she seems like a really nice person, and obviously she and this weird person connected. So, let's just see if they can be friends. Or that might be awkward. Or not. Sweet! A new friend! Take a photo and run. I'm not really sure that's how 